Hello, my name is Ron St. Dennis and I'm with Acuity Solutions. Thanks for watching this video and thanks for visiting acuityinc.com. I thought I'd provide a short video that would uh, demonstrate a workflow that uh, would be uh, uh, usable to manage and share uh, CAD CAM customization uh, template files, uh, customer defaults, uh, and library files. So what is it that we're looking to uh, to uh, manage and uh, share? Uh, we want to uh, be able to uh, manage and share drawing and manufacturing setup template files, uh, manufacturing operation template files, tool library files, uh, and some, use, uh, some uh, customer defaults, as well as uh, drafting standards. So uh, what's the basic uh, steps that you need to go through to do this? Well, first we need to create a new file structure on a local or network drive uh, that has read or write access. It doesn't, it could be either. Um, it could be uh, locally. If you just wanted to uh, make changes to these template files and uh, drawing uh, template files uh, and um, operation template files, uh, as well as your library. Sometimes um, out of the box, uh, Annex comes uh, where you can't write to the library uh, in the UGI folder. So uh, what happens, or in the mock folder. So what happens is that uh, you'll get these uh, write access errors. So uh, this is, uh, if you take them offline, put them on a local drive, or put them on a, a shared uh, network drive where, where everybody in your group can use them, uh, that's the goal here. Uh, the second step is to copy the file, folders and files uh, from the index out of the box installation uh, to the new file structure. Uh, and then uh, you want to edit the UGII underscore env uh, dot dat file, which is in the UGII folder. Uh, and that will facilitate um, uh, or make it possible for NX to find uh, to use the new data instead of the uh, out of the box data. And then, of course, uh, the end goal is uh, that you can uh, uh, create new template files, edit template files, um, create new tooling, uh, edit tooling, uh, so forth and so on. And you'll have um, all that stuff will remain intact without touching the original installation. So before we go any further, uh, let me explain that I have a very specific um, setup that I use on my uh, local drive to save my uh, customization. And, uh, and so these, uh, you can substitute any drive letters, uh, folder names uh, that you wish. I'm, my goal here is to give you a ba basic uh, workflow that will uh, show you uh, basically how this works. Uh, and I think after you go through it once, uh, you'll you'll get it figured out and you'll be able to do it uh, pretty easily. So in my uh, folder structure on my C drive, I just put a NX underscore data folder. Inside that folder, I put a NX 11 underscore, underscore custom folder. The reason I do that is because I, I might want to have uh, one for NX 10, one for NX 9, because I run multiple versions. So inside of that custom folder, I'll put uh, 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 customer underscore defaults uh, folder as well as a resource folder and those two folders will hold uh, the customer underscore default folder holds uh, will hold your uh, customer defaults file from uh, your app data folder and it will also hold uh, any um, uh, drafting standards that you might have created and saved um, uh, in inside of um, customer defaults and the resource folder is really where all the uh, all the um, uh, manufacturing uh, template data goes from from the uh, 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 mock uh, resource folder uh, in the NX installation. So what uh, folders uh, and files do we need to copy and paste into our new fold folder structure? Uh, basically uh, uh, this is uh, this is a listing that shows uh, all all of the folders and files that need to be uh, copied and pasted into the new folder structure. Uh, I I detailed out every one because uh, I wanted you to get a general idea uh, 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 on how the thing works. But uh, really, the uh, there's there's only four copies and four pastes here. 
uh, because the, all three of the uh, manufacturing oper operation template files are in one folder and they go in one folder and uh, uh, as well as uh, uh, the tool library files and the drawing manufacturing setup templates are one cut in one paste each. So uh, basically this is it and I'll, I'm going to show you uh, uh, basically how to do this uh, quickly in a demonstration. So now that we have everything in place, uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to edit the UGII underscore ENV dot dat file. Uh, and you'll find this um, uh, file in the Annex 11 installation uh, uh, in the UGII folder. So basically uh, what I'm showing here is an example of uh, my, uh, a part of my uh, uh, UGII underscore ENV dot dat file. And basically what it is, it's just, a, uh, uh, it's just setting a bunch of variables that NX will understand um, and will uh, uh, pull the data from, from your uh, local or network drive. Uh, it, it might be a little daunting for some people, but it's really not that difficult. And to be honest with you, um, once you do it, uh, you'll pick it up pretty quickly. So uh, this is just an example. Uh, uh, that you can use to uh, move ahead with yours and you can just uh, swap out any uh, any uh, folder or path names uh, and uh, get yours to work. Okay, so there are two different methods for handling this UGII underscore env dot dat. You can edit it in place in the UGII folder of your NX11 installation or you can copy it to your custom folder and edit it there. Uh, if you keep it in the NX installation, whenever you start NX right from the uh, start menu, uh, it will it will uh, give you your customization uh, right there. Uh, if you copy it to your custom folder, uh, you have to create a shortcut and put it on your desktop and uh, start it in the folder in your custom folder. If you start NX in your custom folder, it will pick up your UGII underscore env dot dat file. So this way, if you wanted to have both uh, an out-of-the-box installation that doesn't use any of your customized uh, template files, uh, you can uh, you can create this shortcut uh, with your UG, with the modified UGII underscore env dot dat file in your custom folder, and it will uh, will pick up the um, the new folder structure. Uh, so those are the. It, it really depends on uh, uh, whether you're working alone or working in a group, uh, a small group, a large group, uh, uh, and what your uh, company goals are or what you're trying to achieve with this whole thing. Okay, one last thing I'd like to talk about here is that um, I want to talk about uh, Siemens maintenance releases and maintenance packs. So. Um, it seems like they're moving at uh, light speed here, uh, uh, doing upgrades in uh, uh, in both uh, functionality and uh, and uh, fixes. So uh, from time to time, you will get they will provide uh, updates to some templates, primary library and um, operation templates for CAM. And so when that happens, they go into this uh, C program files Siemens NX11 mock updates folder. And how this works is the NX will look here for a, uh, a template file or a library file before it goes to the to the uh, your custom folder that you've set up in your UGI underscore env dot dat. So uh, you need to bear, be aware of that, uh, and you need to figure out a way to manage that. Uh, you can you could copy these template files uh, into your custom folder and overwrite the ones that are there, or the library files as well. Um, there's risk and benefits uh, involved with that. Um, so you're going to have to weigh out those choices and, uh, and decide what works better. So uh, with that said, you can uh, you can actually determine uh, whether uh, NX uh, goes that route or not. So if you go into the customer defaults under manufacturing general, uh, you'll see under software updates, uh, if you check off use latest updated templates and use latest updated libraries, uh, that uh, it will not look in that update uh, updates folder, which means it'll it'll always get your customization. So it's just uh, it's just something you should be aware of, um, and you need to figure out what's best for you and your company and how to manage that.
Okay, so here we are at the root of my C drive. Uh, I, I have uh, the NX underscore data folder that I told you about here. I've already named the uh, existing setup to NX11 underscore custom underscore old because I'm going to replicate it. So I'm going to create a new folder here. We're going to call it NX underscore. We'll open that folder and we'll put two folders in it. And call one customer and I'll create another one and call that resource all right so the next thing we need to do is uh, start copying a few things here so we'll open up another window here And the first thing we're going to get is we're going to get the drawing uh, and uh, setup uh, templates, for the manufacturing setup templates. So that you find those on the C drive under program files. <coughs> Siemens, NX11. UGII. And then there's, there's the file, the folder is called templates this is and if I open this you'll see that this is all the drawing templates and uh, a lot of setup templates for manufacturing and other other uh, modules but we're going to grab this whole folder we're going to say we're going to copy this here we're going to go back to our custom folder and we're going to paste it right here okay so now we're going to go back here and now we want to get our, uh, our manufacturing operation setups uh, manufacturing operation templates all right so we're going to go back here because now we have to go into mock the machining <coughs> portion resource and we want three folders here we want this template or template part and template set and we're going to copy that and we're going to put that in the resource folder And we need one more thing for this resource folder. We need the uh, the tool library. So we're going to get that from right here. We got a library. This is inside the mock resource library, and we want just the tool for now. And this will go also in our resource folder. Okay, so those are basically the four things we need for the resource folder. <clears throat> the one that we don't have is the customer defaults. So this is a little bit uh, unique. So once you set up all your customer defaults, uh, the way you want them, uh, drafting standards and all that, and you've saved them from within NX, you can go and get them here, and I'll show you where they're at. <clears throat> here we go to our C drive. Go all the way down here to users your username, whatever it is, <clears throat> and then we want app data. You may have to turn on hidden files and folders. All right, local, Siemens, and then NX110 or NX110. So what we're looking for here is we're looking for these .dpv and .xsl XSL files. So uh, <clears throat> I don't have I don't have the uh, I don't have the uh, drafting standard, but I do have a my ISO drafting standard on my other machine that I copied over, right? So you could take these from any place, but for now I'm just going to take these two. Now we want to get back to the C drive here under our custom setup. And we're going to put these 
in here. So just remember that when you create, when you change customer defaults and you save them, they go in this, this app data, data is kind of like a dynamic uh, folder. Uh, this is what it looks like in its entirety. See users, your username, app data, local, Siemens, and X110 or 11.0. So you want DPV and XL, XSL files. So we, when we redirect the user uh, to the local uh, redirect that variable to the local uh, uh, local user uh, for defaults it'll pull them from here okay so that's that so the next thing I want to show you is I want to show you the uh, let's go back to the C drive we'll go to back to let's see if I have one open here no so let's go to uh, program files, Siemens, Annex 11, <coughs> UGII, and we'll go down here. So like I said before, uh, you have this, you have uh, UG underscore ENV dot dat. That's the one we're going to edit. And then you have this one. This one gets sourced in first. Annex pulls this one first and uses, I'll show you really quickly what this looks like. So this, in this file, all the, you'll see it, there's, there's uh, environment variables being set here all over the place. In fact, most of them are in here. There's only one that's not, and that's the one that points to the, for some reason, uh, I couldn't find it in here or in the log file, which tells me that it's being set internally by NX. And that's the one that points to the drafting, uh, uh, to the drawing template files and the uh, NX uh, manufacturing setup uh, templates. So the other one, the one that we want to edit is this one. So I'm going to pull this one in here. And you'll see that there's nothing in here. So it sources this one first, sets all these variables, and then it looks at this one, sources this one, and, and all your changes will be in this one. All right. I'm going to cheat a little bit here because I have in this NX11, whoops, wrong one. In my old folder, I have I have one here. So I'm going to put it in the new folder. So basically, that's all, all it does. And I'll show you what the one that looks like that I've edited. We'll talk about this briefly again. So this is the one that I edited here. So uh, And I like to, anything that has a, uh, a pound size in front of it is, is actually uh, commented out. So you can, you can heavily uh, comment this. And that's what I do here. But this is it's my file new setup template file directly. So whenever you open a uh, file new uh, and you look at the different tabs at the top, manufacturing or drawing, they, this stuff all comes from there. Creating templates, drawing templates, and manufacturing templates uh, is a is a couple more videos to be honest with you. It's a little bit involved uh, in drawing templates. You have you have in both of them you have to deal with uh, uh, PAX files, which is what really creates that that whole. <clears throat> dialogue with the tabs at the top and the and the entries in the bottom so <clears throat> it's a little it's pretty involved so here's here's my uh, my cam tool library directory it's ugii cam library tool dir and it's pointing right to our custom resource right uh, here's a couple others that i had in mind uh, they don't apply to anything we're doing here but basically these Here's the UGI template there, the one that I told you about. This is all the drawing templates and the and the uh, CAM setup template for the CAM part. And these three are the operation templates. So when you go into select create a new operation in the CAM in the manufacturing part, uh, this is these are the templates that are controlled by that. <clears throat> so basically, we're set up to go here. All we have to do, the only thing I didn't show you really is to create a shortcut that points to this. So we go down here to the start menu in uh, Windows 7, you go down to NX11. 
I'm going to right click on this. And you go to send to desktop uh, right here. It says create shortcut. It's going to give you a brand new shortcut on a desktop. Here it is. I've already, if you grab this in here, do a control C there. You go to here. Oops. And properties. This field down here, you see how it starts in UGII, and that's where it, sor it sources the UGI underscore env dot that from. So, if you put this in here, like this, you say OK. Now you have an icon that will launch an X11 uh, from. I usually rename this so I know that it's a an X11 custom. Now let's see if this So here's the other place where you can go to find, if you go to File, Help in NX11, to the log file, you will see this file has all, everything that gets set and where, where it's pointing. So if we look for, if we do a Control F for Find and we go to uh, NX11 underscore custom, Here's one that I set. That's the user tools, customer defaults. So here it's having trouble with the standard uh, drafting standard, but down here at the end it does uh, source in uh, standing drafting standard. Here it says right here using UGII env dot dat from C data NX11 custom. And so. Here we are. Whoop. Here's here's uh, the template part. So they're all these are all derivatives of the few environment variables that we set. So that's pretty uh, pretty much uh, everything that I have for now. Uh, I want to thank you for uh, watching this video, and as always, thanks for vid visiting acuityinc.com.